We're here in High Wycombe because Goering have put together a brand new demonstration for us. Let's go have a look inside. We're here at High Wycombe at the lovely CRS facility in front of a Grub G550 that Brian's been running for us very kindly this morning. I bet you're not used to a facility being this clean. I'm not. It's, yeah, it's very clean. It's a nice place to be, nice place to work in. That's nice. definitely. Enough about that. We're going to be talking about hole making with Goering tools right, Nicky. So, first of all, you've got a demo behind us. Yep. Um, what are you, what's the first drill that you reach for when you've got some steel material? Um, our new, newest drill out, really, it's uh, our high performance uh, RT100 XF. Um, it's predominantly a, a steel specialist. Um, and it's uh, like I said, newest product out, and it's doing really well. Yeah. So how, how hard are the materials? How hard are the steels that you can drill with this drill? Um, up to a tensile strength of 1,400 newton millimeter squared. So, um, okay. so up to pretty hard, hard steel. Um, it's like I said, it's a steel specialist, but we can also uh, it can also do your stainlesses and um, it, your whole range of, of materials really. Um, but yeah, specialises in steel, really. Okay, how special is that drill to Goering, though? Because a lot of people do, do carbide drills. Yes, um, the, the, the carbide grade is our own carbide grade. Um, it's an ultra-fine micro-grade carbide. Um, that's what makes the, the, the drill special. Um, it actually has a, a what they call a resharpening effect. Uh, as the drill wears, um, you wouldn't get your traditional wear you would do with a normal, a normal drill. Um, so that's what makes it special. Um, also the coating, um, it's uh, a coating that's uh, well known to Goering, it's our own coating, um, a nano fire coating we call it, um, and it's super polished um, which helps with chip evacuation um, and obviously taking the heat uh, out of the component. Because it reduces that friction and cut. Exactly. You were doing this before you're doing some reaming operations. Now, yep. why are you doing that? Would you normally just use this drill for before you're doing a reaming operation because it's got high tolerance or? Yep. It's 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 just a go-to higher performance drill for for, for steels. Uh, you can run a lot quicker with this drill uh, compared to our traditional universal drill, which we would have got, um, used before on on steels. So that would be your standard. But with this, you want to reduce cycle times on any steel material. Exactly. You pick your XF. Exactly, okay, yes. fair enough, interesting. Uh, so then we're doing some reaming operations. We've got 10 holes here, we're doing some reaming operations. Yep. Now, a reamer's a reamer, isn't it? What, what's your favorite part about no, the reamer no. that you guys do? Well, personally, no, it's, you know, this is one of my favorite products we've been going. Um, it's a HR500 reamer. Um, just the sheer speed this, this tool runs at. Um, the feed rates are, are phenomenal compared to your, your standard reamer. I mean, you talking, you know, up to 10 times as quick as a, a traditional reamer. Um, we're re reaming a lot quicker than we're actually drilling. Um, in stills, um, up to up to two, 2.5 millimeters per rev in a lot of cases. Um, not only in stills, this reamer covers a whole range of materials. Um, with through holes, blind holes, um, with through coolant, um, so yeah, it covers a, covers a whole range and it is really a, a, a high performance reamer. That's amazing, surely it can't be that quick. Cause you were saying to me earlier that you, uh, 20 years ago when you were running machines, yep. that you would run a reamer, what was it? What percentage of the drill rate? I was always rate? taught when I, when I done my apprenticeship, I was, I, I was always taught by my, my old foreman um, to run at one third of the speed you drilled at. And you're running at 10 times with this of that feed rate, which yes, is? Where it, it's, it's more like a punch than a reamer. And when you see this working, it, it, it's more like a punch than a reamer. It, it runs at phenomenal speeds right. and um, nothing compares in my opinion. Okay, fair enough. So, so it sounds like an exciting, uh, exciting reamer. Let's move on to, you're also doing some deep hole drilling here. Now yes. I've heard that these drills that we're using, they can go up to 40 times deep. Now that's almost gun drilling. Surely you can't run a 40 times deep drill on a machining sensor like this. You can, yep. You can run up to 40 times deep. On, on this actual component, we're running a, a 15 times deep. Um, but we do that drill up to 40 times deep. And yes, you can, you can run them on your, your traditional machining centers. Not a problem, it's fine. That's amazing. I mean, have you ever had any issues? I mean. Do you get a bit scared when you take one of these 40 times D drills into a customer? No, no. I mean, it's proven, they work, um, and you know, it, the proof's in the pudding. I've run these tools a lot, um, and they work. 
as long as your your your, your pilot holes accurate, um, as long as the conditions are, are, are suitable and, and you've got enough suitable through coolant, um, these these drills work like a dream. They really do. So, in your opinion, Nicky, one final question: What sets Goering aside in hole making? Yeah. Um, we're at the top. It's as simple as that. Um, Goering traditionally are known not known for hole making for drilling. Um, and you know, try us. Let us prove it to you. Um, give us a call. Contact us. Um, we'll send someone down, no matter, no matter what area it's in, and we'll, we'll you know, prove it. Thank you.